Watch you guys, got another video here for you. A while ago I made a video on how to dual boot Windows uh, XP with Windows 7 when Windows 7 was already installed. And I've had a couple of messages from people asking me how do you do it the other way around when Windows XP is installed first. Well it's a slightly different um, job to do because we've obviously got to change the size of our partition. Now if you've got one partition it's not as easy to change it inside Windows XP as it is in Windows 7. So we need to use um, some tools. Now you can use either Disparted or you can use Gparted. Now we're going to be using Gparted in this uh, video. It's a free download that you can use and we're going to half the size of this to make a new partition ready for our Windows 7. So Gparted is a Linux based uh, live CD which we're going to be using. All you need to do is come to this website and uh, click on live CD and USB and then download what you want to do and this is the download button here. I've already got mine downloaded and installed ready to rock and uh, what we're going to do is resize our partition and uh, we should be ready to install our Windows 7. Once you've got this done, this part is pretty much plain sailing. So let's uh, reboot the system into our live CD Okay, so what we want to do here is I'm going to click on default settings. And then I'm going to click enter. And I'm going to put uh, 33 in for my language, English. Enter again. Okay, so this is what we get once we boot up, and as you can see, this is our partition that we've got our C drive, and we want to resize this. Now you can resize and move by clicking on this tab here, or you can right click and resize and move. And once you've done that, I'm going to come up to this little arrow here on the right hand side and pull this down to about halfway because this is I want to put Windows uh, 7 on there. Now you can obviously play with a much bigger size partition. This is on a virtual box, but you'll get the general idea. So we're going to resize and move this. And there you can see our unallocated space there now. Okay. It's so going to apply this. And it's now going to shrink that for us. And as you can see, it's done that job for us, which is good. I'm going to close this off. And we're pretty much ready. As you can see here now, we've got two partitions. And this is where our Windows 7 is going to go. Okay, so what we can do here now is uh, close this off. So I'm going to click on Exit here. I'm going to reboot. Or I'm going to shut down and then put our Windows X, Windows 7 CD into boot to our Windows 7 CD. Okay, we're going to push any key or enter key. Let this load up. go next and then we want to install now let's set the license agreement and then what we want to do here is go custom and you can see our two partitions and we want to make sure that we're selecting the unallocated space this is where our Windows 7 is going to go in and then just let that install
but you can see the two versions there now on the screen earlier version of Windows and Windows 7 so we're going to enter Windows 7 here so Windows is just preparing to start for the first time All we need to do here now is give the actual account a name and skip this part here and I'm going to put ask me later on him just go through the motions here just let it prepare the desktop and then that should be installed And they have the desktop of Windows 7. Now what's happened is now is we'll reboot the system in a second and boot back into XP. Okay, so let's have a look at the actual Windows here. You can see Windows C drive and the D drive. They both have their own Windows on. That's the XP and there you've got Windows 7. So what we're going to do here now is reboot the system and uh, have a look at XP and change that name when we reboot. I'll show you what I mean. So let's reboot the system. And as you can see, we have uh, Windows 7 and an earlier version of Windows. And that's because we've installed Windows 7 on here. What we need to do now is change this earlier version of Windows to something more uh, suitable, i.e. Windows XP. Or you can leave it as it is, but we're going to go into an earlier version of Windows and uh, change that. Okay, so what we need to do now is open up Easy BCD. You can get this for free on the internet. I will put the link in the description there for you. It's come down to Edit Boot Menu, and you can see earlier version of Windows. So if you want to change it, we need to do is double click on this. and put whatever you want in my case it's Windows XP I'm going to save settings save successfully and then close this off and then reboot and you'll see what it looks like so now we have our options of Windows XP and Windows 7 so that's basically about it. You just need to boot into whatever one you want. And the jobs are good. One. So there we have it. So that's how you uh, dual boot Windows 7 with Windows XP. With Windows XP installed first. And I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoyed these videos, please remember guys, hit that subscribe button. And also rate and favourite my videos if you enjoy them. And I'll be making more useful videos again in the future. So thanks again for watching guys. Bye for now.